Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 4th to the 10th of October 2021. So I hope you are Scorpio. Let's pull your cards. We have dreams, pay attention to your dreams. Your spirit guides are sending you messages through dreams. Could be something to do with dreams. And we have intimacy, lust, passion, love. Okay, message for Scorpio, please. Message for Scorpio. First card is the overarching energy. Then we will pull three cards. Then clarify, go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. It's interesting, I had this energy for Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. The Tower. Sudden change can sometimes be unexpected. King of Wands. Okay, let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Scorpio. Thank you. We have the card of Judgment. The Tower card is clarified with the Ace of Cups. King of Wands, the World. Bottom of the deck, the Empress, powerful energy. So signs on the table, we have, we do have some Scorpio energy with Pluto being here. We have um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female energy. The Empress is Taurus or Libra. So you might be dealing with one of those signs. Could be part of your chart too. Let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Four of Cups. There is an energy here of, of you're being offered something and I feel it is to do with this Ace of Cups here that's coming in very unexpectedly uh, represents some kind of significant life-changing energy here. So someone is offering you love here, Scorpio. We do have love, intimacy, lust, passion. There's no doubt there's a connection here. There's a desire here. But there is some kind of decision to make. And I feel that you're unsure. Uh, because we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is, I'm not saying yes, but I'm not saying no. I need to think about this. You know, it's, it's not, you know, open-armed. It's not received open-armed, you know. It is this energy of, of someone who's got closed arms, closed legs. So, I, I feel in this energy you are asking yourself, you're being offered something here in terms of love, romance, relationships. Do I really want to work on this? Do I want to put my energy and time into this anymore? Do I see this in my long-term future? Do I want to keep on putting my energy, heart and soul, into this? We have pay attention to your dreams. Your spirit guides are sending you messages through your dreams. So maybe there's some guidance that you're being sent here. This is an intuitive energy. You know, sometimes, you know, the Four of Cups can be the Divine Nudge card as well, Scorpio, where spirit is just saying, no, you've got four options here, but you need to go in this direction. Your intuition is leading you in this direction as well. So I, I feel in this energy, your intuition is telling you something. And it's to do with this, the challenge. You know, the judgment card can sometimes be a second chance card. So in my, I feel you have history with this person. I feel this is a, a significant relationship. Uh, but you don't know whether you want to 
go to the next level. You know, the, the two of pentacles is will I, won't I, do I, don't I, and it can be a choice between two paths, but somebody isn't completely clear. And it feels like this is an energy of my emotions are all over the place. We have the two, with the judgment card, which is a significant decision that will stay with you for some time. It is a karmic energy. So whatever this decision is, it will stay with you. This can be an energy of staying on the path that you're on and knowing that whatever situation that you're in now, that will be the situation that you experience. Only progressing that maybe for some of you or going in a different direction. So for some of you, this can be whatever this energy is, whether it's taking a relationship to the next level, an existing relationship to the next level, or it can be in this situation, marriage, you know, longer term commitment, you know, buying a home together, call it what you will. It just feels there's a significant decision that you're being presented with on something that you've already put a lot of time and energy into. But you're questioning now, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to, you know, set foot on this new path with this person? We have uh, the King of Wands and the World card. So... The energy here is is how you want to take action. If this is you, King of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female energy, or the energy of that card. This is an energy of a go-getting energy, taking action from a position of being in your power, you know. And the World card is an energy of of stepping through to a new phase. The cycle completes in a new beginning starts is this going to be self-love or is this going to be the offer of love that you're being given right now what is your heart open to you know the world energy is is a completion of a very significant cycle and sometimes in that world energy it takes into account all the challenges that you've had to go through to get to that point of completion We have, so this is in the immediate future, taking action, walking through a new door, because we have the Empress, which can be a new beginning energy. She's very nurturing, so nurturing something, the beginnings of something that promises to bear fruits long term. You know, she's the birth of something new, very good in terms of pregnancy, very good in terms of, um, very good in terms of, love romance relationships so going to the next level with somebody in some way for some of you it might well be let's have children or let's have another child uh, and you're not sure about it there's a significant decision that you want to make whether you want to keep things as they are now or whether you do want to do this i'm feeling in this energy scorpio as well it feels significantly like someone's offering you love here so let's clarify next level love next level energy and it's like i said a, a relationship that is intimate there is passion there there is love there but it might well be your for some of you you might be questioning that you might be questioning that is there still love here or do I still have passion for this person? Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. King of Pentacles, yeah. You know, King's here. It's, I feel it's a person. And the King of Pentacles generally represents long-term committed relationships. You know... It would be somebody who would want marriage, who would want, you know, the home together, the family together, long-term committed relationships. Very stable, secure energy. But somebody isn't sure. Let's clarify the... Yeah, I've got the strength card at the bottom of this deck. And the strength card is... An energy of allowing yourself to look at those fears, 
those insecurities of what is making you be in this energy of do I want it, do I not? And sometimes it can be the strength to face that is this relationship really for me? Or it could be other fears or insecurities that may be holding you back in some way. Let's clarify, um, let's clarify the King of Wands. The Eight of Cups is taking action, me walking away. I mean, for some of you, this could be walking away from something that's not working for you, and it could be going towards somebody else as well. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress, please. Thank you. Two of Swords, difficult decisions, choices. The Knight of, Pent Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor. And again, Empress Fire Energy. I, I, just, I just feel that there is somebody very significant in your life who wants to do the ordered thing, take a relationship to the next level in some way here, Scorpio. But the Seven of Pentacles is an energy of taking stock, evaluating, a relationship that you've already put a lot of time and energy into. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is an energy of an offer of commitment on some level here. Um, and the Two of Swords is not being clear in terms of which way you want to go, weighing up your options in terms of what this new beginning looks like. It can be a choice between two paths as well. For some of you, there could be two people involved in this situation and a choice between two people. For others of you, there's just a next level energy of commitment here and you're not sure if it's for you right now. Um, someone is considering walking away or energetically pulling away from this. Let's clarify, I've got the Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, long-term committed relationships, marriage, family, you know, ancestral lines, legacy. I, I just feel in this energy, Scorpio, you don't know whether this is the long-term for you. And you need more time to think about it. And it's only for seven days, this. Um, I feel someone is taking stock right now. Uh, they're considering whether this is for them or not. And it's the strength, like I said, it's the strength and courage to face those difficult things. To, to allow yourself to face truths, maybe, in terms of what you really want. Maybe to do with your dreams here. What is my dream relationship? Is this fulfilling my dream relationship or is it falling short? Because this is a card of dreams, but falling short of the dream. That's what I have for you. I mean, like I said, Scorpio, it is only seven days, so it will be different for, like I said, uh, things can change after seven days. Right now, I think you're in that point of not really being clear which way you want to go. And the universe is saying, wait until things become clear, slow but steady, to do with this decision. There is this energy here as well of, it's the expected thing to do. It's the ordered approach, the next natural step on the journey here it's natural evolution you know and there's there's this kind of energy of do i do i do this and take it to the next level for the greater good you know maybe you're considering other people or children in this situation is this something for me you know do i just do it because, because it's the right thing to do for everybody or do i walk away Final message, we do have new beginnings here. The fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio.
Um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.